The problem started when the freezer, the fridge, start to freeze some food. So when we open the fridge, um, and let me show you, this fruit is actually frozen. You know, the, the freezer freeze the food rather than just cool it down. So if you try to eat it now, you, you feel like you're biting ice. Uh, and the, the vegetable is the same. And um, we, we have been throwing some uh, vegetable for this reason. This is happening in the beginning. And then after that, after a while, it starts to not freeze, to not cool down the food at all. So it's either extreme cold or warm fridge. And when the fridge is warm, we have to throw the milk few times because the milk will go off very quickly and we have to throw it. So we try to uh, follow some uh, uh, tips from uh, people online. So I didn't find too many things about this uh, specific model. Um, we check, uh, normally they say you, you should check your rubber around the gate. We check the rubber. This, this fridge is almost new. It's not even two years yet. It's one year and a half or something. It's under two years, so it shouldn't give that problem now. And the rubber is very fresh. With no problem with the rubber and the door is closed probably no problem no issue so uh, and i checked the other day i checked the sensor temperature sensor which is called thermostat as well and it was working and the freezer is working fine no problem we have no problem in the freezer the the, the problem is here um looking in more detail about this uh, fridge freezer i find only one uh, evaporator it's only one machine actually operating this freezer rather than two it's only one here so the cold air is blown through uh, through a hole here between freezer and the fridge this one and it, it's blown by a fan so I doubt the van was not working and I checked the van the other day and the van was fine was working so I'm trying to do something else today and I want to share that with you because as I said I didn't find uh, too many things online about it. So um, I wanted to, um, to, to, to remove this panel today and see if I can do something more. Um, so I have to remove everything. Uh, the first thing to remove this panel, you have to remove the three screws from here, one, two, and one on the bottom there. So we remove that now. Remove the cover with the flat screw driver. We also have to remove this plastic. Now we have the screws and the other screws. Having removed the three screws. We just have to remove to pull the panel. Like so. Yeah, it's just uh, two screws falling in here. And we just have to disconnect the power. Of course, before you start any job, you have to disconnect the power fully, and which I did so. Connect to that clip. Like so. 
So you just pull it under, you, you press it here, you press it to unlock it and then pull it down and it will come out. And that's where is the band. This is the band. I checked the band the other day and the band was working, no problem. So I'm checking something else. Here, here the hole that blown air from here because this freezer, uh, this fridge freezer only have one one compressor and uh, they only have one of these that's one they what they call it coil uh, it only have one of these it, so the bridge doesn't have anything behind the panel because I tried that before I was thinking the fridge have the same but the fridge doesn't have any of that the fridge take the cool from here through that through that hole and that hole probably because I see wire here is something maybe control it open it and close it depend on the temperature of the fridge when the temperature come up that's one maybe it's signal sent sent from the thermostat or the temperature sensor to this flap the flap open so some cool go inside when the temperature fall down to the desired one as you set it up for example say four degree the this the sensor will send the signal again to this flap to close so open and close depend on the temperature so what am my 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 thinking is i probably have a problem with this because my freezer is okay it's freezing and the temperature is it's coming to the desired temperature no problem but sometime maybe that flap doesn't open or close on time that's why i either have warm or extreme cold so i'm gonna open that and see it could be stuck by ice or something and uh, it could be just uh, uh, the, the matter could be resolved by just uh, taking it out and um, clean it take the ice uh, you know defrost it and clean it or i have to replace the whole part which is fine like you know as you can see uh, it's, it's okay it's something i can do so this one i don't need to take this one but i just take it out my way no yeah that's that's what you see that machine that's the only machine we have on that so i am looking at that because i know this 90 percent this is my problem yeah because the cool is coming from here and it seems to be open maybe it doesn't close when it should that's why i have that problem to remove it i don't know how to remove it really um i don't know I, there is no screw or anything i think i probably have to remove the other part from the fridge you see there's another part here that's connected to this this part is connected it's taking my the cool air coming from here through that and coming out here and there's a couple of holes here on the top and on the bottom to cool down my fridge and what i'm thinking is i could be right i could be wrong but what i'm thinking is that door it doesn't close or open as it should that's why I have the problem. So now to take this out, I have to take the reset. Probably a screw here behind, so I have to take this out. Just take it like that, pull it out. And then now I already can see there's one screw here. If I take this off. I 
and remove this part then I will have more room to play here and see what happens is not fully undone so do a little bit more Now, here, this is the thing. Yeah, coming out now. So I push it from here and then now. So I have that. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. See this door. This door, it should open and close. Controlled by that electronic thing. It should open and close according to the temperature of my fridge but it doesn't seem I'm gonna take it out it doesn't seem this one is doing the job as it should it should open and close I think this should be a, maybe there is a motor here um, should open and close um, according to the signal coming from the thermostat based on the th temperature and the fridge. But it doesn't seem doing the job properly. You see, because when I take it out, it was stuck like that. I see some sign of ice here. Maybe this ice is um, making it stuck i don't know i don't want you to break the motor but at the same time my problem is still like this um so my 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 door it's, it's it's not open and closed properly so i try to undo because i know that it should be a type of motor hole that's control that door and opening that like so but you can see straight away a sign of ice in there and this ice you see here can the camera show that yeah yeah, this ice, it was holding this gear from rotating and closing probably. Yeah, I don't know when I install it, I will have the same problem. I don't know if I have the same problem. If I have the same problem, all I have to do, I just have to get a part like this. You make sure you take the part number while you have it out in case. I'm gonna try anyway without buying the bars before I buy it. You see this ice? See, you can see it clearly here. This ice, it actually... Yeah. It's full of ice there. I see this ice. This ice it was doing a damage to my fridge. So I clear that now. I clean it, put everything back, and I will try before I order. Um, if it's not working, then I have no choice but to order another one. Yeah, so that's. Okay, now, and this one, I think it's going that way. Yeah, so everything is moving, you see, you know the mechanism, you will see the mechanism working. When I open and close, everything is open and close. What happened is, when this motor working, it should push that to, to make it work. So, no, I, I already spot, I also spot something here. Yes. Actually, this could be something damaged, but I'll try to put everything back 
Let's see before I order. The fresh was here. And I tried to put the motor in the same place as it was. Hopefully I can do that. <laughs> If you forgot the arrangement, you can always go back to your video or picture. So it's a good idea to take a video or picture. Yeah, I think you see this here and this there is another one here. Yeah, like this. This is falling in place now. And this one it should be here. Yeah, so it makes sense now. Yeah, so everything is now, the mechanism is work. I only have one part to put here. This part, I don't know where this come from. But I think it was, it was here when I opened. So, and this hole go in there when you close back, or this one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so each one have a hole. Okay, so I try to put back now. Yeah, you see. Make sure all the holes are falling in place. Yeah. And then close it like so. Put your screw and hope for the best. Hope for the best. At the end of the day, even if you have to replace this part to fix your freezer, you save a lot. You save a lot of money and a lot of time waiting for somebody to come to find the problem and they might not find it in the first place but I, I had to do a few tries before I was thinking about this I had to check the temperature sensor I had to check the uh, the compressor I had to check I know the compressor is working because the freezer is is go uh, full um cold anyway but uh, I hope that's fixed the problem. I hope that's fixed the problem really because so I had my I, I removed the ice and now I am able to even with my hand to I can hear the gear opening and closing okay so now i'm putting this back make sure you put it right in the gap push it so i think that's why they have the insulation they don't want water and cold to get inside but it's very obvious that's happening in my case I can even feel ice again. Where does this ice come from? This, I think it's ice inside, so I have to clean inside. There's ice here as well. So clean that. Make sure you clean that. Yeah, you see ice here, my hand. So I have to clean everything before you put it back. So. I'll go clean it and then I'll put everything back.
after I clean, put everything back here and connect that. Like so, just push it until you hear the click. And same way, we're going to bring the van bar. This one. Prepare the tooth where you go. This tooth for that one. Uh, uh, this gonna go against what I have on the stall now. The gap. Just make sure there's no ice here again. There's no ice. Uh, and tight. Okay. And now. I have to connect to that. Push it until you hear the click. And then come here. Maybe I have to put the other panel as well. Going on the top of each other, so this, this is this is right there. There is a nip here. Let's put it. Engage this two parts together. To my screw, I like to give it a quick dry. So this water is not uh, turned to ice when I close it and turn on the power. Okay. So I have screw that. I just like to get that a quick dry here. I'm going to get the whole thing dry first. This part just before I uh, finish. I have to put the cover here for the screw. And here. I suppose all that to protect it also and not let in the cold air to go inside between parts and this one is to go here yeah yeah that's okay and then one here on the bottom And then what I have to do now is I'm going to dry my the whole thing and then I put everything back and then try and hopefully that will fix the problem. Thank you for watching.